This is a comparison of Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K versus XGME Horizon Pro from a gaming perspective using PlayStation 5. We have done an in-depth dedicated review for both projectors. If you want to see more, we'll leave a link in the description box. For context purpose, we'll take a look at three main things when it comes to upgrading your gaming setup and then we'll put them side by side against Nebula and Horizon Pro. Both the XGME Horizon Pro and Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K are good projectors for gaming but there are some difference that makes one better than the other depending on your needs. First, input lag. The Horizon Pro has a lower input lag of 50 milliseconds which is great for fast paced gaming that requires quick reaction. The Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K has a slightly higher input lag of 65 milliseconds which may be noticeable for some gamers. You should be aware that these projectors are very different in relation to aesthetic. The Nebula projector is insane and it comes with all the features that you would expect at high-end projectors and much more. On the other hand, the XGME Horizon Pro stands bold and it screams premium and value for money. So if you purchase one of these projectors, I feel really confident that you'll be happy with your choice. Second, brightness. The XGME Horizon Pro has higher brightness level of 2200 ANSI lumen which can make gaming a bright room easier. The Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K has brightness of 1500 ANSI lumen which may not be an ideal in a bright environment. The Nebula Cosmos claims to have 25,000 hours of light source lifespan and it clearly focuses on portability due to non-removal handle that allows you to conveniently move Cosmos Laser 4K to bedroom or living room. They both come with Android 10 TV, autofocus, auto keystone correction and auto screen fit which are all handy features when setting up on the go or moving around. Something to factor on both projectors, they do not have a built-in batteries. The Nebula Cosmos has external Nebula streaming stick, one external port, one HDMI and one plug labelled AUX audio. The Nebula Cosmos can be mounted on a tripod as you can see here. Due to its weight and size, ceiling mount is not an optional but it is doable if you must. The design is not hard to see, the XGME projector are designed to fit anywhere in the house. It's elegantly shaped that looks transparent which allows sound to pass through with no difficulty. Third, sound quality. That'd be a special kind of crazy to rub a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. The X Jimmy Horizon has a built-in Harmon Cardon 16 watt speakers which can produce a more immersive gaming experience. On the other hand, Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K has 10 watt speakers which may not be as powerful. Overall, if you prioritize low input lag and brightness for gaming, the XGME Horizon Pro may be a better option for you. However, if you don't mind slightly higher input lag and prefer a wider gamut, the Nebula Cosmos Laser may be a better option. Conclusion even though both projectors are really good, I think my conclusion are pretty straightforward. If you want a projector to travel with and endurable for your daily lifestyle, the Nebula Cosmos is the one as it is sturdy, bright, loud enough and it has Netflix supported out of the box. But I wouldn't recommend for gaming purpose as the input was really high compared to the XGME Horizon. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to compare a 4K LG monitor and XGME Horizon Pro for gamers. If you're planning for permanent setup or a ceiling mounting projector, then the XGME Horizon is the obvious choice. It has great color, great audio, low latency, and it looks slick out of the box. 
However, if you do want to see a budget friendly projector, then I will suggest you to watch this video. Till next time, stay legend.